Welcome to our demonstration on how to configure vSphere alarms in VMware vSphere. VMware provides pre-configured alarms for the vCenter server system that trigger automatically when problems are detected. In this video, we'll learn how to set up alarms and alerts in the VMware vSphere web client. But first, let's take a look at some alarms that were triggered by the default alerts. We start by locating the alarms in the monitoring section and select Event Console. Scroll down and we'll find cautions and warnings in red and yellow. Let's start with an example where, due to an error, the update manager is unable to complete a download. By default, actions, such as email alerts, are not taken on the alarms triggered. We set up an alert by selecting vCenter, and clicking on the top level under Manage, and clicking Settings. We can see here that there is no SNMP receiver server setup or mail server setup. We click Edit, set up the desired email server, and click OK to save the changes. Note that if we were to address SNMP servers, we repeat the same process for it. We are now able to start receiving emails through this mail server. Now we look at alarm definitions. This list is pre-populated with some default alarms, but we can also create additional alarms. Also note where the alarm is defined. This particular alarm is defined at the top vCenter level. But we can also define alarms at any lower level object as well, and it will be reflected here. Anything below that level will inherit the alarm settings. We can also see the alarm is enabled and certain triggers are defined. To configure an alarm, select any desired alarm. Here, we open the Host CPU Usage Alarm under Alarm Definitions, then click Edit and select Triggers. This alarm is configured with triggers already, but in this next example, we'll reconfigure the warning conditions to avoid receiving emails from the server if the value is set too low. Change the warning condition percentage from 75 to 80% for five minutes. Click on Actions and select Add. We can see here there are many types of actions that can take place. Choose Send a Notification Email for the example. In the Configuration column, add the email address to receive the alarms and set the alarm's frequency to once or repeat. We'll set the frequency to once for now. The alarm will trigger by default when it goes to red, but we're also going to set up notifications in case the alarm's condition goes back to yellow or green. This can be helpful in case the object is no longer alarming and we aren't looking at the vSphere web client. Click Finish to save the changes. We can monitor throughout the inventory tree objects, such as virtual machine level and cluster level. We also have different options for creating the alarms on those objects, such as virtual machine monitors, host, clusters, data centers, data stores, etc. Common alarms to configure are host connection state, host power state, host CPU usage, and host memory usage. Many companies utilize other tools for monitoring the virtual machines through guest agents. But one additional alarm to configure on the virtual machines is Virtual Machine CPU Ready. Let's configure an alarm for the Virtual Machine CPU Ready value, which means that the virtual machine is ready to use the CPU, but has no CPU available to use. We click on the Add or green plus sign under Alarm Definitions. Under General, type in the alarm name and select the Virtual Machine Monitor. Now, under Triggers, keep the default triggers. Configure the action similarly as above, and click Finish to save the changes.
This concludes our demonstration on how to configure vSphere alarms in VMware vSphere. Thank you.